We continue to preview the 2024 college volleyball schedule. Our stop today is Durant, Oklahoma, and we get to visit with Nicole Solom Mitchell, who is heading into her fifth season as the head coach for the Southeastern Savage Storm volleyball team. Coach, ordinarily I'd say preview the season, but let's talk about something that just happened this week. News from Southeastern as Denari Mills has been named one of the Southeastern Athletes of the Year for 23-24. Talk about her performance and, and her as an Athlete of the Year. Yeah, yeah, I know. I think, um, you know, that it's a, such a great accomplishment for her. I know she worked really hard um, on the court and in the classroom, and this was just a nice benefit and nice cherry on top for the hard work that she did. Um, obviously, I know the the track and field athlete that she's sharing this title with did, did a phenomenal job as well, and so I think it's great that they both get to share this title. Um, you know, I, I love that women get to be recognized and, and all that hard work that they've they've done. And um, it's just great that they both they both get it. I know Denaria was was very excited to to hear that. That's great to hear. And she had a great year. And <laughs> I know that she'll uh, we'll talk about her even more because she's coming back. But yep. look really quickly at last season, 23, 24, 12 and 12 on the year. Then then the wheels came off <laughs> a little bit at the very end of the season. Yeah. But you have enough in the tank to you know make it to the playoffs and and get into the postseason make the GEC conference tournament 12 and 17 overall but you did make the conference tournament talk about last year I know there were ups and downs yeah you know I think we put ourselves in a really good position I was really pleased with kind of the layout of our schedule and kind of how we teetered on upward for for our for ourselves um we had some really big wins obviously beating Harding in their in their gym um uh, beating Arc Tech, well, that the whole weekend beating Arc Tech, we were down 0-2 at Tech, and it, you know, it was do or die, and we just kind of had to figure it out. And I credit that that win to our middles; uh, they really figured it out, and um, so that was great. Just a great road weekend for us. I, th- I believe we were we were told that has never been done um, on the road beating both um, both of those schools. So that is just cool that that even happened to us. Um, and then on. I believe it was on Halloween. <laughs> Maybe it was a little <laughs> scary moment for us. Um, Ruthie hurt her hurt her hand, um, and so we kind of came back, uh, not really sure if thinking she could play or not. And then she um, ended up uh, doing something to end end a season with her hand, and so we kind of had to shuffle some people around and put somebody in the setting position that maybe. Um, we hadn't been training her in the middle or in the setting position for, for the year. And so it was, she was a little flustered for that, but she did a great job for us. Um, and so that just, uh, we hadn't been working on that all year. And so I think that's kind of where we were in such a good upward word uh, trajectory. And I think we just, Oh my gosh, Ruthie is our, our glue. What do we do? And she's not here. And how do we do this? But um I think, um, you know, we had put ourselves in a great position before that um, to get ourselves in the conference tournament, and that was always the goal. Um, And obviously not how we wanted to finish the conference tournament, um, but I think due to the circumstances, I think we were – We were pleased with what we did, Um, but that's just, you know, at the tournament is where Ruthie was like, I'm not done. (laughs) I'm coming back. (laughs) So it was kind of a little, like, again, a little cherry on top to know that she was coming back for her final year and, you know, that type of energy and her commitment level and her competitiveness um, just kind of fueled us for the spring and and, and into this incoming fall. So uh, we're excited to see what we can do. I think we've got a majority of the girls coming back. We've got a, a great uh, a handful of incoming kids that I think are going to add to what we're doing. Um, so obviously not how we wanted to end it last year, but um, I am I am pleased with what we did with the circumstances. So. Well, Coach, I'll go back to what you said too. I mean, getting getting the wins on the road at Russellville, at Searcy, and that Northern Arkansas swing. Having followed the program, I, I believe that is the first time. Yeah. So I think that that's a big deal, and it's a real stepping stone yeah. for the program. So congratulations yeah. to you all on getting that done last yeah. year. Well, Coach, this year, uh, let's go ahead and and look ahead a little bit. It's not that far away. As a matter of fact, <laughs> really a month. Out. always flies so, by. Doesn't it? <laughs> As uh, as you have Denari coming back, let's talk about the offense just a little bit. She comes back, led the team in kills last season. Yeah. Talk about your outsides and, and where you're going to get point production. Yeah, you know, I mean, 
you always hope for for your training to to end up like that. You always hope the kids that you were going to recruit and you you know you envision what you think that they can do, and the talent that they have and how you can help improve that and work off the skill set they already have. And obviously, in in uh, twenty two wasn't our our most successful year, and we had you know ten freshmen, <laughs> and you know all of them were playing, and so coming off of that to to this this past fall and the adjustments that she made um in her skill set and her training to to do that over a spring and into a fall was fantastic she is she's a producer um and a lot of times she's a killer she's an heir right and a lot of times it's not just in play which sometimes i'm like let's just keep that in the court girl um and so we've um we've we've worked really hard on that and she um she's such a good teammate and wants to do what's right for for the team and so i'm i'm really pleased with with her um production in the fall um and what she did this spring um you know i think she balances us out her and ruthie have a really good connection um she's a competitor she wants to win um and so i think we've been able to show her other ways to score um, you know, and I think that that's been a big transition for her. And so she's she's going to bring up big numbers for us again this year. Um, and I think uh, Noe, our other outside, uh, is coming back as well. Um, and they complement each other really, really well. Um, both heavy hands. Uh, Noe's very shoddy. Um, Noe and Ruthie are very lively on this team and on the court. They bring a lot of energy um, and people really rally for them. Obviously people rally for Denari just because it's a big show and what she can do. Um, and so I think they all balance each other out um, really, really well. And so I'm excited to see that. I mean, I've just heard Denari's numbers statistically are insane, <laughs> you know, and when you look at it uh, on the team in the conference and at, at a national level, um, you know, even when I was coaching in the Northern sun, it just, uh, these numbers are, she's competing with the top of the top and the best of the best. And it's, um, it's, it's just insane. And, and I'm so proud of the work that she's done and um, how she's contributing uh, to this program. We're on Midwest Sports Net and visiting now with Coach Nicole Solo Mitchell from the Southeastern Savage Storm. Coach, I would look to you know the next part of, of, of this preview, and I want to talk about your setter. And there's a part of me just wants to say, Ruthie Forston. I know. <laughs> yeah, it's Ruthie, all that needs to be said, right? You've already talked about her, and I don't know if there is a more versatile yeah. player in the region or, or in Division Two. Yeah. She's amazing at what she does. She's coming yeah. back for you for one more year. Yep. Yeah. She's, you know, she's a diamond in the rough. You know, I think when I recruited her um, again, you always, you always hope and have confidence yourself as a coach and training of what, what you can help with this, this kid do and this athlete do. And this is all her, this is all her, you know, I think she is in my 14, 15 years of, of college coaching. She is one of the most, um, compassionate kids and most competitive kids that will do anything um, to get the W. And if we don't, she's going to figure out a way how um, the best teammate, um, you know, I think if, if she's just someone that she's like, I'll handle it. I'll put it in my hands. I'll go, I got you. Um, and so when she uh, decided to come back for her fifth year um, for her COVID year, um, Man, I was ecstatic. I mean, the timing, like I said, she told us at the conference tournament. So it was kind of like we had lost, but I'm like, man, I'm excited. I'm already ready for next year. Um, but the team is is pumped. They were ready to go right away with when they, she told us that she was going to come back. Um, her leadership is is unmatched. Um, but I think people can truly see her passion um, for the sport, her, her passion for this program. Um and so uh, we're just excited to keep keep rolling with her. She has steadily improved on her skill set and um, and her offense. I mean, she was like I think she was second in first in hitting percentage in the conference. I think honestly to end it, and second in our in ours for kills. That it's and she's a setter. You know, it's her offense. <laughs> she's just like I got it. I'll handle it. And so um, we're excited to just get one one last fall with her and send her off with a bang here. 
you know, she really is one of those players too that I think for opposing teams that when the ball is headed her way, they have to be ready for literally yeah. anything. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think that's, that's, you could do, that's so. what we're told. <laughs> uh, glad that you don't have to scout against her. I know. Team. I was like, thank goodness she's on my <laughs> team. You have uh, defense coming back, defensive specialist Amaya Constantino coming back. She led the team in digs. Denari Mills second on the team in digs, so she has a good defensive presence as well. Talk a little bit about the defense. Yeah, you know, I think uh, I have always tried to run a defensively minded program. I think that's going to win games. Um, we really stick to the serve and pass game, uh, and our serve receive is, is is pretty on point. We we hammer that down. We've got a great group of backcourt kids. Amaya has done a great job over the last few years. Um, Patience Lewis has been a, a fantastic addition as well. Um, you know, I think we just that's our bread and butter, you know, and we hammer that home. And a lot of that is this game upstairs, you know, of, of how can we handle that just cause that's reps. And, um, a lot of that's just confidence. And so, um, we have a large mixture of, um, personalities in that group, which I think is nice. And, you know, and some are louder, some are more meek and reserved and, and they, their, their group them as themselves is a, it's just a fun group to, to train and, and hang out with. I would say they're the gym rats. They are in the gym 24 seven. Um, I have Andrea on the team as well. She redshirted for me last year. She's a transfer from Panola. Um, I think she lives in the gym, <laughs> you know, she, they're just, that whole group is in there all the time. Um, and so um, I have a transfer from uh, Prairie View um, that is going to come in and help that group as well. So I'm excited to see um, what we can do. I think they have made defense a personality um, and that mm, you're not going to, that ball's not going to drop with me on the court. And so I think that's, that's just fun to see. That's the fun part I think of the game is, is the attitude and, and the court presence and the littles, as I call them, um, <laughs> they have really just kind of made that their own. And so I'm, I'm excited to kind of continue that trend. Well, season gets underway first full weekend of September, September 6th and 7th, go to Arkadelphia to play a few opponents there. And then the next weekend, an interesting road trip coach as Durant is 12 miles from the red river. So <laughs> Texas, well, that's not that big a deal, but where you're heading in Texas is going to take you six and a half hours to get there. If, everything is going well. Odessa, yeah. Texas the next weekend on yep. the 13th and 14th. And then right after that, after you get back from that long road trip, the first GAC match of the season as you head to Shawnee to take on Oklahoma Baptist. Coach, who made this schedule? <laughs> that would be me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, um, it's kind of similar. We went to Arkadelphia last last year, I believe. Um, uh, Henderson and Washita host a great tournament. And so it's great to get good competition, not too far from here. Um, uh, UTPB is a hall, uh, but the, it's, it's a great competition. They've got great facilities. Um, I also, I would say, have a little bit of interest there. I have a lot of family out there. <laughs> so got some babysitters that can help <laughs> are out there. Um, you know, but I think a part of that, too, is, is the bus trips and the road trips are bonding, you know, and I think that that's a great opportunity for us to, to continue to learn about one another and, and, and challenge ourselves. And we're going to play some good competition. Um, UTPB is a great Lone Star team. And so we're, we're excited to, to see them. And, um, you know, we've got a lot of parents that go a lot of places and I'm sure they will be in those stands in Odessa. <laughs> so we're excited to, to hit the road out there. All right. Well, the season is not that far away. I know that, that the team is going to be back very soon in mass, but the schedule gets underway September 6th and 7th for the Southeastern Savage Storm. For Coach Nicole Solom Mitchell, thank you so much for taking time with us today and previewing the Savage Storm as the season ahead looks promising. Coach, we'll follow the storm all the way through this year, and thank you for being with us today. Thank you so much.